ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Just to switch it up on you, what was the hardest pro fight of your career? Hey, hey, how's it going, man? How's it going? The hardest pro fight in my career. I mean, I, I'd, I'd say the Fury fight, you know? I would say the Fury fight. I, there were two fights. One would be Guillermo Jones. When I fought Guillermo, I beat him in 2000, I was at five. And sneaky that was hard. veteran, sneaky, sneaky. legendary, like Yo, southpaw. Right. He was switched. He was switched southpaw to orthodox. So he was, he was, um, he was very crafty, man. Long, tall. We were about the same height, arm length about the same. And he had more experience than me. You know, he fought, he fought for a world title at, I think, 147 when I fought him, before I fought him. And, uh, he, you know, he's up to cruiserweight. And I, I looked at his, I looked at some of his footage and I, I, I judged him by his body shape. Yeah. I, was, I looked at about, I looked at about a round and a half of the uh, footage. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna beat him because he had a beer belly. You know, he had like a pot belly, you know, he wasn't ripped up. And I'm like, to me back then, I'm like anybody who's not in shape, they don't work. You know, there's no, there's no, in my mind, in my world, there's no reason for a fighter, any fighter on any level to, to, not, to not have a six pack. To, you know what I mean? That's pure, that's just laziness to me. And, and that, that tells me you don't work as hard as me. You're not getting you know? it. Right. That tells me you don't work as hard as me. There's no way you look like that and you, and you work as hard as I do. So that right there, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm going to get him. But that was a, a premature judgment because he was very skillful, very skillful. Um, but still, his what I my mindset of him not working that hard, it paid off for him because I did end up turning up, coming on those later rounds, you know, at the end. And uh, but he was very tricky, you know, very quick, good jab, good stuff. But I just I just kept turning up. I would go to that body. And uh, it was a split decision victory for me, you know? And, and also I had, I wore some black tights, some black leggings. This was one of my big fights. So, you know, I wanted to look snazzy. I had black. You wanted to be fly. Out. You wanted, wanted the to Philly to come out. Right. So I had the black leggings all the way down to my ankles, you know, and they were thick, man. And I didn't, this is my first time ever wearing them under the fight lights. I trained in them, but I wore them under the fight lights. and. After the fourth round, I felt so drained. I was, and I didn't understand why. I'm like, I'm in shape. I'm like, I'm not breathing heavy. I'm like, why do I feel so drained and weak? And after the fight, my trainer was like, oh man, you had them damn leggings. Some things drain your heat. They, you know, they, they make you extra hot. You know, I was overheating in there, but I still pulled that fight out, you know, and won it. And um, so the Guillermo Jones was, Won a fight in like 2012 against Dennis Shafikov or who was it? Uh, he won a cruiserweight upset fight like way after that. 